It's about that time of day again. My name is Joseph. It's Thursday evening, August 24th. Welcome back to your nightly newsletter. We're covering crude oil, S&P, NASDAQ, gold, and euro tonight. Crude is bearish and trying to retest today's low. And I'm waiting for a two-try rule, buyer failure, for selling opportunities back down to the lows tomorrow. The S&P is bearish and trying to retest today's measured move. And a short-term trading range tells us to use the two-try rule to focus on failures up in the battle zone on Friday. The NASDAQ is bearish and trying to retest today's low. And a flag pattern tells us to look for selling opportunities up around the high of this channel. Gold is bearish, and a triangle on the chart tells us to focus on failures using that two-try rule to fade the breakouts back into the original range tomorrow. And, of course, wrapping up tonight on the euro, the euro is bullish, but after two tries to reach their target, another two-try rule tonight, well, I would expect to see some profit-taking and a possible reversal tomorrow. Boy, do I have a great, great video newsletter for you guys and gals tonight. We get a Friday session, a summertime Friday. We'll take a look at the calendar, and we'll put the plan together for tomorrow morning. We've got a great example tonight of the two-try rule in action. Two tries on crude, S&P, NASDAQ, gold, and euro. You guys are in for a treat here tonight as we get ready for a summertime Friday session tomorrow morning. Before we jump into the newsletter tonight, though, I want to remind you the only place to watch the full-length version of this video is on our blog here at SidewaysMarkets.com. If you're watching the video right now on our YouTube channel, not to worry, there's a link in the description of that YouTube video. Video. Follow that link. Come join me here on the blog at Sideways Markets and watch the full length version. Now, don't forget while you're here, don't forget to join the mailing list. I'll send you an email every evening when the nightly newsletter goes live. Follow me on social, lower left hand corner, stock Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, whatever your favorite flavor of choice. Follow me throughout the week on social media. I'm always posting important charts, links, and updates throughout the week. Don't forget to grab those charts. How easy is that? All the charts from tonight's video, have them on your computer ready for tomorrow's trading session. Follow that link below the video on the blog. And what are you waiting for? Grab that free pass. I get questions all the time. How can I learn more? How can I see what it's all about? How can I join the trade room as a guest? Grab that free pass, upper right-hand corner. You're going to learn more with me in 90 minutes on that free pass than you will anywhere else on the interwebs. I can pretty much guarantee that. Grab that free pass. If you're not a member, right, don't delay. Grab that free pass here today once you finish up watching this video. And don't forget, if you have any questions, I'm here standing by 24-7, 365 to answer all your questions along the way. Got a big day here tomorrow. Tomorrow is a summertime Friday. Got a bunch of two tries we're going to talk about in just a moment. You guys are going to be experts on the two-try rule by the time we're finished up. But first, let's make sure we talk about tomorrow, summertime Friday, August the 25th. As you can see here, we get a little bit of news tomorrow morning, right, 4 o'clock and 8.30. If you're in London tomorrow, right, trade the London session. London session typically runs from 3 a.m. until about 7 a.m. and then take a break. And, of course, the U.S. session starts at 8 o'clock and runs until about 11 o'clock, 11.30 Eastern time, Monday through Friday. So if you're in London tomorrow morning, Morning. Got the old IFO survey from our good friends in Germany at 4 a.m. tomorrow morning, Eastern Time. I would imagine, though, the big news tomorrow morning will be the durable goods orders here at 8.30 a.m. If you're with me tomorrow, we open up our trade room. Don't forget, 8 o'clock Eastern Time, we'll be watching that durable goods orders right along with all of our advanced members. Now, one more thing, or I guess two things you want to be aware of when it comes to a summertime Friday Anytime we talk about Friday, I always think two things. One, early in, early out. We want to get to those trades earlier, the better tomorrow morning. Anything after 11 o'clock Eastern time on your typical Friday is going to be lower probability. And the reason for that is because a lot of professional traders just, they've learned over the years that they're not their sharpest, right, late in the day, late in the week. In fact, we now know it's, it's, it's psychological that Later in the day, later in the week, later in the month, not just traders, but human beings overall take bigger risks, right? Lots of different reasons why, but bottom line is at the end of the day, at the end of the week, at the end of the month, traders take bigger risks. So as we go towards the end of the day tomorrow, that obviously is towards the end of the week tomorrow as well, so we have kind of a double whammy, right, for a little bit higher risk, right, more more risk-taking, right? Uh, traders tend to throw their inhibitions out the window, and they tend to take bigger risks. So be careful on Fridays after 11 o'clock. Now, tomorrow's a summertime Friday. In fact, it's one of the last 
summer Fridays until kids go back to school and, you know, parents get back to real life again, right? So we're expecting, like I mentioned earlier this week, we're expecting tomorrow really watch that volume after 1030. Now, we might get lucky and we might see this go all the way to 11 o'clock Eastern time tomorrow. But after 1030 a.m. Eastern time tomorrow, you really want to put that finger on the pulse and make sure your ATR levels are high enough. Make sure your personality is there. You know, if you've got experience, you know what a good market feels feels like and looks like if you don't have experience get a comfortable chair right and uh, come out and obviously join me in the trade room and I'll walk you through how we read the average to range right how we watch for personality traits how we're watching to see how movements back to the moving average feel and that'll give you an idea tomorrow after 10 30 if you want to keep pushing the envelope the second thing I want to talk about for Fridays anytime we get close to the end of the week we always start watching those prior week highs and lows. So the highs and the lows from last week now start acting as price magnets. So we're gonna grab a look at that in just a moment as well. So stay tuned, we get a bunch of charts to cover tonight. And on those charts, many of them were within striking distance of those prior week highs and lows. So two things you wanna be thinking about for Fridays, early in, early out. Remember, typically 11 o'clock, right? But tomorrow, summer Friday, 1030. And then remember, last week's highs and lows, right? Prior week highs and lows. And next week, as we go into the end of the month, We'll start watching the prior month levels, okay? So end of the week, we watch the prior week levels. End of the month, we watch the prior month levels. All right, let's keep moving here tomorrow again. Don't forget, trade room tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock Eastern time. I expect to see you there with all of our advanced members. We're going to have a great Friday session. Let's jump in. we got crude, S&P, uh, NASDAQ, gold, and we'll wrap up tonight on the euro. Crude is bearish and trying to retest today's low, and hopefully that prior week low all the way down at 46.62. The sellers had a nice strong run lower today. They collapsed off the highs after buyers failed to retest yesterday's high. And then correcting off the lows, right, we're now seeing a correction off the lows as the sellers clearly are taking some profit to finish off the session. Now, this is a great place to look for selling opportunities. If you watch last night's newsletter, you know this is in phase number two of those four phases right, of a trending market. So this is a great place to look for selling opportunities. But there's a couple clues here right now. First, this move higher, it's pretty perky, right? You can see this move higher, pretty pretty strong move higher, most likely profit taking. This move higher is likely going to, to confuse or at least get buyers thinking this is a reversal. So I'm expecting buyers will try one more time, right? So think of this now, think of this now as a first try for the buyers. And I'm looking for a second try, right, going higher. So I'm expecting to see those buyers try one more time. And I'm looking for those buyers on their second attempt to go higher, right, to try and fail for a selling opportunity back down. Now, we're going to talk a lot tonight on the newsletter about the two-try rule. And the two-try rule is really nothing more than human psychology. You know, every, every, every trader I've ever met, right, is a human. Obviously, we have some computers in the market these days but guess what computers are programmed by humans so it's when people ask me about computerized trading I tell them who who, pro, who, who, who programs them computers program them, right those or, or human beings program those computers right and until we have until we have uh, the, the the computer development of process where computers are programming computers right we really don't have to worry about that changing anytime soon this is nothing new right computers have been have been interrupting these markets here for 30 40 years now I don't want to go on that topic though right now I want to talk about about the two tri rule Human beings are creatures of habit, and the habit that most humans have is they'll try things once. If they fail, they'll usually try it again, but if they fail a second time, statistically speaking, most human beings will not try a third time, right? And we see this everywhere in this world, right? This is not just day trading. This is everywhere. Try it once. Didn't work. Okay, try it again. If that didn't work, most human beings, right? I know not everybody, right? I know I would try a third or fourth time before I give up. But most human beings, though, are going to try a second time. And if they fail that second time, they're probably not going to try a third. So that's the basic idea behind the two-try rule. And boy, oh boy, is that two-try rule everywhere in the financial markets. So, for example, right now, bear market. 
right? Bear market, as we talked about last night on the newsletter, right? Those four phases, right? That was phase number one, right? Trend development. And now here we are in phase number two, right? Phase number two, the pullback, right? Allow those sellers to sell high. And of course, phase number three, right? Is back down to retest that low. And then phase number four, right? Rejection or acceptance. If you missed last night's newsletter, you definitely want to go back and watch that this weekend. Now, the bottom line is this move higher is pretty strong, right? So think of this now as being the first attempt, right? From those buyers. Now, with that strong move higher, are buyers going to want to buy high up here? No, they're going to want to buy low. They're going to want to buy the pullback, right? You know, think of this as a minor or smaller version, right? One, two, three, right, of those four phases, right? Think of that as kind of a, an inside four phases. The bottom line, though, is I'm expecting those buyers, because we're seeing such clear strength going higher, remember, what are the three things we need for a, for a reversal? Strength, pullback, strength, right? Three rules for a reversal. We talked about that, I believe it was earlier this week or last week on the newsletter. If you guys watch my newsletter, it all kind of builds on top of itself. So bottom line is, is that we're expecting with this strength going higher, I'm expecting those buyers are going to try one more time. That second attempt, that's the one that if it fails, Right now we're looking good and we can start selling this right back down. Right, so strong move down, short covering rally. Sellers take their profit to finish up the session. What happens? One try up. Big strong move. What's going to happen if it pulls back? If it pulls back, you're going to have buyers buying that pullback. That's the second try. So now we have one try, two try, and if that second try fails, that's when we start looking for the sell back down in. Now, Another clue in the chart here is this trend line, right? And this trend line may get adjusted here, but that trend line becomes a great tool as well. Combine that, right, with that falling resistance trend line overhead, and this becomes a real, real great area to start looking for a combination of that rising trend line along with that falling trend line up inside I should have labeled that, right? The battle zone, right, up inside that battle zone, right to head back down. Now, what if the buyers take control here, right? So one try, two try. If these buyers can really run, right? If we see some strength going higher, then that's going to give us a reversal. How do we, right? What, what does it take for reversal? Strength, pullback, strength, right? So strength going higher. We already have that. Pullback, not yet, but waiting for that. And then strength. If we see that mark going higher here now, now let's try to use that trend line. Up, pull back and go, right? So if we go higher here, remember those four phases we talked about last night, right? Phase one, phase two, phase three, right? And then we'll see where we go from there. So expecting to see the two try rule, we got one try here. We're expecting a second try here. If those buyers fail, looking for that sell back down. If those buyers are successful, right? Then get up above that trend line. Let's use that trend line now, right? To buy that dip bull channel up to retest the high. The objective right now for the buyers is to get back to 4850. Target right now for the sellers is to get back down to 4706 or that prior week low, right? If you got a runner target for tomorrow. Right now, bears have control until these bulls can hold that pullback, right? Wait for that pullback to fail. That'll be the most reliable selling opportunity going back down to retest the low. Oh, baby, we got another big chart here tonight. How about the S&P here? Another great example of the two try rule here for tonight. The S&P is bearish and trading sideways with a triangle just above yesterday's low. Very, very important important clue. The trading range tells us to focus on failures using the two try rule up above the high of this range, preferably in the battle zone tomorrow. The measured move, right, is another example of the two try rule, knowing that we usually test the measured move twice. So that will be our target to the downside tomorrow. Boy, I mean, loaded with great examples of this two try rule. Let's squeeze this together a little bit. The most important thing right now is the fact that, right, is the fact that we're sitting just above that prior low, right? That's yesterday's low. If you look left here, right, that's yesterday's low. So as you can see here, and we, we talked about this in last night's newsletter, right, the sellers were eager to sell high, 
right? The bears were eager to sell high. Again, great video last night. If you missed the newsletter, make sure you go back and watch it. We saw price rejection off the low, right? You'll know this if I if you if you watch last night's newsletter. We want we saw rejection off that low. What does rejection tell me? It tells me sell high, right? Not a bull market yet, right? It didn't matter, it didn't matter which market you're talking about tonight, whether it be crude, S&P, gold, NASDAQ, euro, all of them giving us great examples of that two-try rule. I hope you learned a ton, and I hope you use it tomorrow to earn even more. Now, guys and gals, don't forget, you're always welcome. Join our free trial. Learn more about the two-try rule. Learn everything about our patterns, our analysis, right? Feel what it feels like to be a member in our trade room. I'll send you a free pass. Come out and join the trade room. Don't forget, don't forget, right? We have three levels of membership, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. Check those out on the website here at schooltrade.com. And if you have any questions, okay, I know I realize that most websites never call you back. They didn't respond to your emails. They're all automated robots these days. I guess I'm behind the times, right? I believe in customer service. I believe in talking to my clients. I will answer the phone. I will reply to my emails. I will answer that live support, right? I'm looking forward to speaking with you and answering all your questions. If you're brand new to this, I know this is a lot to, to, to digest at, 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 at once, but the good news is join as a client. You don't need to learn it all at once. I'm going to be there with you to kind of speed foon it to you every right? speed, speed foon it. There's the word of the day. I'll, 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 I'll spoon feed it to you one by one every day in our trade room with all of our advanced members. All right. Obviously, I'm not an English teacher. <laughs> I'm here to teach you trading. I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. If you don't see you guys tomorrow, have a great, great weekend. Enjoy the time off with the kids. They're going back to school right here soon, I'm sure. And I'll see you guys next time. Adios, amigos. Bye-bye for now.